This video is to show you how to download the Oracle and SQL develop the latest software packages and how to install and configure them. Here is the list of required software packages. In this video, we will install software packages on PC with Windows 7 64 Professional. You may need to make necessary adjustments if your environment is different. After input URL of Oracle Elementary Express into the address bar of your web browser, the page will show in on your screen. Before you download the software, you have to accept the license agreement by clicking the radio button. Now click here to download. To download the software, you need Oracle Technology Network account. If you do not have an account yet, you can click the Create Account button to create a new account. It's free. Once you sign in, you can start download and save the package. Now it's time to download Oracle SQL Developer. Input the URL of SQL Developer. The following screen will appear. Choose Windows 64 bit with JDK 8 included. Click the download link to download the software. Since you already signed in, the download will start immediately. Now we download Microsoft Visual C 2010 Redistributable. This is the last package we needed. You can click the download button to start the download. After download, you should have uh, three packages showing on the screen. Now I'm going to show you how to install software packages. We will begin to install Oracle database. The packages we download is a zip file, so we have to unzip it first. After unzip the file, you will find a folder called disk1. You can click on it to open the folder. Inside the folder you will find a setup file. You can double click the file to start installation. A welcome window of installation wizard will appear. You can click next to continue. Choosing destination location window will give you opportunity to install software in different location. Unless it's necessary, I will recommend you to install in the default place. In specified database password window, we can give password to sys and the system account. For simplify, we will use Oracle is the password. In the summary window, we will show you the installation settings. If you are happy with it, you can click next to install the software until it's finished. After installation, the database start icon will show you on the desktop. To use the database, you have to restart the windows. Database will automatically start once the windows have been restarted. Oracle SQL developer installation is very straightforward. In fact, it's not really an installation. What you need to do is simply unzip the folder. After unzip, you will find a SQL developer folder. For simply to use, we will create a shortcut for the SQL developer. To run the SQL developer, we can click the icon we have just created. To avoid the box coming every time, you may uncheck always ask before opening. Now you can click the run to continue the application. If you are lucky, your SQL developer will be run straight away. But however, most of you will receive the error message showing on screen.
The error is caused by missing a one DLL file, which belongs to Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributable. To address the issue, we need to install the package. The software package is one of the files we downloaded earlier. To install the software, you may double-click the file. The installation process is very straightforward. You may click Next till to the end. Now you can double-click SQL Developer icon to start Oracle SQL Developer, and the startup screen will be showing. It will eventually into the Oracle SQL Developer interface, as shown on screen. Now you can click the little green plus to add a new database connection. We name the new connection as Manager. The username is System, and the password will be Oracle. If you wish, you can save the password by clicking the checkbox. Now we can click the Test button at the bottom to test the connection. The state shows successful. Now we can click Connect to finish. The manager connection is established. Now you can click plus next to it to expand. Now you can see all the objects belong to the system account. To simulate Oracle working environment, such as universities, we have to configure the software. In the following configuration, we assume you have account username ABC356 and the account password will be ABC356EG and the Oracle TNS name EDEN01. To create the account, we right click on other user then continue click on create user. In the system account, we connected in the previous. Type username ABC3456. Type password ABC3456 EG. Type the same password again to confirm the password. Click on default table space. Select the users as default table space. Click on temporary table space. Select the temp as temporary table space. Click ground rows tab on the top. Ground connection row. Set the connection row as default. Ground resource row. Make resource as a default. Click on Codes tab on the top. Allocate users unlimited codes. Click on SQL tab to verify the settings. Here is a list of SQL statements for creating new user ABC3456. Now you can click Apply and then click OK to complete the setting. Click the green plus to make a new connection for the user we just created. Type learning as a connection name. Type ABC345 as username. Type ABC345EG as password. Click the checkbox to save the password. Click the test button to test the connection. It's successful. Click connection button to make a new connection. The new connection is ready to use. Now we're going to configure TNS name to simulate working environment. Click on local disk C, you will find Oracle XE folder. Click on the folder. Continue click on Up folder. Continue click on Oracle folder. 
Continue click on product folder. Continue click on 11.2.0. Continue click on server. Continue click on network. Continue click on admin. Now you will find the TNS name file in the folder. Double click the file to open the file in the notepad. Here is the default settings. Copy the XE setting. Make change XE to Eden01. TNS name Eden01 added. Now you can save the file and close the window. Now we go back to SQL Developer and right click on Learning. And click on Properties. Change the connection type from Basic to TNS. Click Network Alice, you will find Eden01 and select it. Click the Test button. The state shows success. Now you can click Connect button to finish. Now the learning connection is updated. It will be the same as the working environment. Mission accomplished. Thanks for watching.